Okay. Hello guys, so today we will make uh, the mouth that I use in this animation. First, if you want to get this animation, if you want to study this file, you can get it on Gumroad for $5. That to get more knowledge about Grease Pencil and also support the free content I make here. This guy is part using frame by frame techniques and part rigged like the eyes the turn of the eyes so today we will try to make this mouth we already made a more complicated mouth even if it was a simple mouth too but uh, today's mouth is really very very simple when you don't need to go complicated to achieve some good looking animations i guess to follow along you don't need a complicated mouth like this for example just create a simple mouth with a closed position and an open position so here is our mouth it has three layers the lines layer and the highlights layer and the fills layer and it has two shapes so let's start rigging it we are in object mode shift a armature a single bone let's go to edit mode let's change the type of display of bones to be bones let's bring this bone here let's select this ball here and then gz move it here let's make it thinner by clicking ctrl alt s and let's make it even shorter gz let's rename it f2 mouth dot control dot r now let's duplicate it hit x and move it here f2 rename it to mouth control left l now we will need another bone to control the center of the smile so let's duplicate it again and move it here let's check something also here in the bone properties let's deselect the form we don't need the form with these three bones these will be control bones and they won't deform our mesh or our uh, grease pencil strokes let's rename this guy mouth just mouth control this time and now we create two bones to deform the mouth select this ball here and hit e to extrude it hit x to make a horizontal bone it is parented to this bone so let's hit alt p to clear parent ah they are not parented because we didn't uh, extrude from this side we extrude from this side let's move this bone here oh, i'm enabling the snapping here let's disable it we will need it later let's move this bone here gx here to the center this ball to the center ctrl alt s to make it thicker select this ball and now e x and extrude like this now let's add some bendy bone segments so change this to five and then select this one and change it to five too now i want to snap this bone to this ball here so let's uh, enable snapping make sure that vertex here is selected make the cursor close to your ball and hit g and like this we snapped it successfully we need one more bone it is the bone that will be the base of our structure shift d again duplicate let's hit z put it here and then hit 3 i think i'm gonna select this ball and move it here and i want these two balls to be on a horizontal axis so let's hit n and go to item so if you move this ball you see that it's the tail one so let's copy the value from the z here Control c to the z here and then enter and now they are on the same axis they have the same z value this ball and this ball now let's make it thicker Control alt s let's say this ball g y and then hit one i want to snap it to this ball to g and snap it here very nice now we need some parent this bone will control the smile here will control this ball here and this bone will control this ball we will use constraints to control this ball and this ball but for this ball we will use parent so we need to parent this bone to this one so select this one then shift select this one and then control p make parents but keep offset parent these three bones to the root bone 
So select this one and then shift select this one, shift select this one, and lastly shift select the root bone control P and also parents, but keep offset. Very nice. I think I forgot to name some bones. So this one F2 just mouth R. F2 mouth left root bone f2 mouth root let's go to pose mode and now let's add some constraints so the constraints we can add them from here and we can also add them with a shortcut since we want to add a constraint to this one make sure first you are in pose mode select this bone and then shift select this one and then Control shift c and choose this one stretch to very nice then you select this one shift select this one Control shift c and stretch to there is a problem though i forgot to do something and i left it like that just for an experiment let's go to edit mode when i created this bone i just duplicated and i didn't invert it this ball should in fact be in the bottom this one the tail should be in the bottom and the head should be here the head ball is the one that will control the constraints we go again to pause mode you see that the bone is following the head ball so we go to edit mode we select this ball g z and move it oh, i selected the wrong ball let's select the whole bone and just move it select this ball g z select the whole thing Put the cursor close to the ball and then G and move it here. Now again to pause mode. And yeah, there are some issues here. And this can be fixed here in the constraints panel here. You need to delete this value here. So X, delete it. And then select this one and delete the X here too. And it's fixed. Whenever you see that your bones are distorted after making some edits, go to this value here and hit this x here so now let's go to object mode and let's parent our mouth to our armature so select the mouth shift select the armature and then control p and armature deform with empty groups nice now we select our mouth and you see that we have these vertex groups mouth r and mouth l since we use the form only on these two bones we got only two vertex groups and that's nice now with the mouse selected we go to weight paint and here we can weight paint our mouth since we selected the left vertex group we will paint the left side first we need to um, go to the layers here and disable the locks here so to this arrow and disable auto lock layers all the layers are unlocked now and we need also to activate the multi frame to paint both frames in the same time so we select these frames again to our vertex groups we are still in the left side and we start painting we paint the left side of the mouth of course and not the left side of the artist and now we select the other group and we paint the other side Let's disable multi frame and you see that both mouths are painted. Very nice. Let's go to object mode and select our armature. Go to pose mode and we try to move these bones again. Nice. Here's the smile. Now, with these bones, you can have a lot of flexibility in your animation. And the root bone is very important. If you do a resize X, you can have this effect here, like a kiss. Or SZ, you can have this contraction here. It could be used, for example, for anticipation before the opening of the mouth. So the mouth contrasts like this, and then it goes like this, and then it opens and you have some nice transition between these two shapes one more thing we can add is a bone to change the shape instead of changing the shape here we can add the bone and control everything from our armature so let's select our armature let's go to edit mode let's add a new bone let's duplicate this one and let's rename it to mouth shape we select our mouth again and add a time offset modifier we change from regular to fixed frame and you see here you can change here from one to two you can also keyframe the mouse from here or we can just add a driver here so right click add driver and let's open the drivers panel from here 
and change this panel to uh, drivers here is our driver let's hit n again and let's go here to drivers and let's edit our driver so select the armature and select mouth shape bone let's type only var here and let's change this to local space and the x location let's disable this button here show only selected so we can always see our driver let's go to pose mode hit n try to move this bone yes the y the local y of the bone is the global z hit n again so here instead of x location we choose y location in local space so g and try to move it up nothing happens again g yes so it does change the shape but it's very slow so let's duplicate this by 10 enter and try again yes now it's much better to make it faster i will add one so that zero here changes to one so one yes so here the closed mouth and then g go up and we have the open mouth let's restrict the movement of this bone to just the y so n again and lock the x and the z so this is it i guess our tutorial ended here and of course you can have more shapes for your mouse so select the mouth you can have not just two but three or four or five or any number of shapes you want to your mouth and control them all with this bone thank you for watching if you want to watch a tutorial about a more complex and powerful mouth check it on the channel i will put it here above and also in the description thank you for watching and see you in another video peace